The main reason I chose DevOps because it is important uh, as it is an amalgamation of a software development and operation approach that enables faster development of new products and easier maintenance of existing deployments. DevOps breaks down in the barriers between the organizational functions which have historically sat in silos, including product engineering, security, quality assurance, and operations. This allows you to apply an attuned business focus when delivering applications and services at high velocity. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Career Transition Series. Today, we have Mr. Nilay Devnath from Canada, who is going to share his success story so far. So Nilay, a warm welcome to the show and let's get started. Thank you, Priya. Uh, 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 a very good morning to you. And uh, I'm excited being uh, to be here. Great. So Nilay, my first question to you is like how it all started. How did you start with your career journey? So uh, to start with, I want to give you a backstory how I get into computers. It's mm -hmm. basically, uh, I'm very fascinated with computers uh, since I was a kid. It's basically you write a line of a code and then all that electrical signals go at the back and does the work for you. And uh, because of that, I got into computer science. I was very fascinated with programming. And then um, that is where my actual computer journey started. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I started, it's mostly with uh, software development, um, writing code in Python, Java. And I have been doing this for past 11 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, uh, I have been uh, exploring new fields, getting into DevOps, and uh, the Edureka course that I, I have just completed is uh, one of the um, ones which is going to kick off my career in that direction. Wonderful, great to know. So we also get to know from you that you have been a software engineer with Cisco, right? Yes, that is correct. Great, great. So what was your main reason behind doing a career transition? The main reason uh, behind doing a career transition is basically um, uh, I want to get into a SRE role, uh, which is a site reliability engineer. Uh, and uh, site reliability engineers are mostly DevOps people. They bring de developers and operations together and they code as well as they take care of uh, uh, huge service. So you have to be very good in software development, which I have been doing for past 11 years. And they are also good in DevOps, which I have already started my journey with. So this is where I started my career transition. And uh, definitely with this growth, there comes salary, good salary and uh, new opportunities. Great. Wonderful to know that, right? And uh, we also see that you are in the field for the last 11 years and then you took the big call of doing a career transition. And as we know, it's not only a difficult task, but also a difficult decision. So when did you uh, actually realize that uh, you need to do a career transition? Uh, that's a very good question, Priya, because it's never easy to do a career transition after you have been in, in an industry for 11 years. It's uh, basically, uh, uh, I have seen uh, some of my seniors, they have been actually getting into this uh, SRE roles and that actually give them a catalyst to become CTOs in some of the small companies. And uh, I also want to get into technical architect, technical lead, as well as a CTO level. And I think uh, somewhere uh, it sparked the idea in my mind that I should also become uh, uh, proficient in DevOps. And the uh, SRE role kind of intrigued me. And that is why I am get, getting into it. So my next question to you, we are all keen to know this. Like, why did you choose Edureka as your learning partner? Good thing about Edureka is it's an instructor-led uh, program. Uh, you can actually do these courses in MOOC websites like uh, uh, Udemy, Pluralsight and everything. They have good courses, but the thing is, uh, if you have any doubt or any questions, uh, then you have to ha discuss this with somebody. With the instructor-led courses, you can actually uh, discuss uh, live 
your problems with the instructor, with your mentors, and they are there to solve that problem uh, live. So it's basically, and with the comfort of uh, sitting at home and because you can take the course from anywhere. So that is why I, I took this course with Eterico. Amazing. Good to know that, you know, the instructor led program has actually helped you in getting not only your doubts cleared, but also to understand uh, greater things uh, with regards to the course. And how was your overall experience with us? Like with regards oh, to I would, the support and the trainers? Oh, I would say marvelous. I don't regret taking this course. Um, we have uh, one of our instructor, uh, Shubham. And he's been with us for four or five courses. So it's, it's, uh, it's a span of uh, five, six months. And uh, he was, uh, uh, he, he knew what he, what he teach. And uh, he was always there to solve our problems. So uh, overall experience, uh, nothing less than five out of five. Wonderful. You know, we are very much uh, elated to know that. And uh, with that, I would also like to know from you, like since this program, it went on for around six months and uh, more than six months. So what are the main features of the course that you actually enjoy throughout your learning journey? Uh, the main features are uh, the course that we have done is actually curated by uh, Purdue University, facilitated by Edureka. And uh, uh, it's uh, and it's instructor led, so you are getting the industry best uh, courses with the instructor and a mentor. I think uh, you cannot ask more than that. Uh, so this is one of the best part of it. Wonderful. So looking back, Niloy, what would you have done differently if you wouldn't have the thought of this career transition? Oh, I wouldn't have done anything differently. I would like to go into DevOps and uh, that is where my uh, 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 journey of DevOps started. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I don't regret my decision of taking that. So I want to stick with it. Wonderful. So Niloy, as you mentioned in the in the earlier part of uh, this uh, live stream that uh, career transition has always been a difficult uh, uh, call for many of us, right? So why do you think people find career transitions, uh, they think about it, but they're not able to achieve it? There could be a couple of things, uh, Priya. One could be you are in a field you are not passionate about. You first and foremost is you have to be passionate about what you are doing. Um, if you have done a thousand uh, certifications, but you are not passionate about uh, the work, but you're only working for the salary, it's not going to work out well for you. Uh, so first, first thing is you have to be passionate about IT. If you are in IT field or if you're in any other field, you have to be passionate about that. The second thing is uh, I can only talk about IT because I am from IT industry. IT is a very volatile industry. It's keep on changing new technologies, which are a niche technology right now. In 10 years, they are going to be a legacy. Mm -hmm. So you keep on learning. You have to keep on learning. You have to be the top of every technology. So to do so, you have to keep on getting uh, courses like this, where you would know what is trending in the market. And uh, this would only guide you in a right direction but then you have to take up charge of your own life and do it by do it by your own so i would say these two things if you combine um, it will help you in your career transition Definitely. So we do take this as a kind of suggestion from you. And also along with that, uh, Niloy, I would like to know from you and I would uh, want you to uh, tell this, like how this entire career transition or this entire program has affected you as a person or has in uh, changed you as a person? Oh, it uh, ch uh, changed a lot of perception that I have uh, for the IT industry because I used to think that I know a lot uh, in the industry, being in the industry for a long time. But uh, after taking this course, I found out there are a lot of other things to learn. And uh, that is how it helped me to, uh, to get this perception of the IT industry that, yes, we have to keep on learning. Wonderful. Great. And with that, we come towards the end of a live stream. And before we uh, end, I would like to, you know, give you a couple of suggestions to all our viewers who are right now watching this. Um, okay. Uh, I want to reiterate on uh, 
anyone who is working in an IT industry and they want to take up any courses, first of all, um, dear friends, you have to be passionate about what you are doing. Uh, and if you are passionate about uh, everything, gonna be fifty percent, sixty percent done. The next forty percent is you have to get a good good mentor, which you are going to get it from these courses, uh, and then you have to keep on learning by your own. So uh, be on top of that, and you would see uh, success would be with you. Great, and I, as I always feel that happy is the man who makes a career out of their passion. Right. On that note, we come towards uh, the end of our live stream, and thank you so much, Niloy, for being such a wonderful guest and sharing your part of story with us. Thank you, Priya. Thanks. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Thank you. Bye.